Kathy, it's Amanda, and it is 30 Inks After Dark. Um, today is, it's very late. It's almost actually Monday. Um, it's about 11. Actually, I've wasted enough time cleaning out a pen. It's probably like the 12 already. I didn't check the clock before I started recording. But um, here's our ink for the day. Um, sorry about the weird shadows and the weird lighting. We are doing this late at night, so I don't have the natural lighting that I always have. Um, but it's if I don't do this, then we're not going to have a 30 inks in the morning. And, well, we're too close to the end to skip days. So, um, yeah. So here's our ink for the day uh, yesterday. Um, Colorverse Philly set. I know that I'm saying that wrong. Um, but, yeah, this very beautiful looks red in the vial but like here it looks pink uh, and I just realized I didn't write facts out and then here's our little swatch next to Hubble and I did get um my card out oh where's my card I did have it out where the heck did it go I had it sitting right here here's Hubble but where's oh is this it yes here's our card for um Philly set. It's the one I did from the ink flight. Um, so yeah, so these are different. I feel like this is a little darker and uh, richer and this is and this is like more red with like the gold sheen and this is more like a pinky red. I mean, yeah, this one seems brighter. Oh, what's these? <sighs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I stayed up way too late this morning playing Dark Souls. <laughs> Dark Souls 3, actually. Um, anyway, so yeah. But yeah, actually the one good thing about this lighting is these shimmers are like, I don't know if it's popping on camera, but in person, they're just like, wha-bam, all over the place. Um, yeah, so, and here's my, I don't usually show off the Hobonichi page. We'll show it off at the end of the month, but with this lighting and the glitter, holy cow. But here's what you mean where it's like pink. Now it's pulling some of um, the ink from here because uh, it bled through a little bit, but yeah, so pretty. Okay, so once again, we're going to pull from the random bin because it's too late and I have not had a chance to like figure out what I want to do today. So, um, so yeah, so we're going to pull from a random bin. And uh, before I do that, I do want to talk about this pen. This is the pen. It's wet because I just cleaned it out. Um, this is the pen that I use for the Galactic Twinkle. I know that people were wondering how it cleans out of a pen. Um, this is a really saturated blue and saturated blues are a little harder to clean out of pens so um so it did take a little bit of extra um uh like because because the way this film the this pen fills ch -ch -ch. i ended up i did end up um t pulling the nib and feet out and um soaking those in a little a little dish with some water and pen flush and um just to make sure that it would get clean and then uh, ran extra water through here. Um, but yeah, but it cleaned out just fine. Like there's no, there's a little ring here and I don't know if it's like stained or if it's just like water that's stuck there. So that's the only thing that I noticed. I don't know if you can see. It does, I don't even know if you can tell on camera, but that ring right there where the, where the reservoir like kind of like merges with the feed. Um, that's really the only thing that I noticed about anything. Um, I had a dried spot of ink in here that took some water to clean out, and I had a dried spot on the section, which I just cleaned off with water. Um, yeah, not a big deal. So yeah, it cleans out for being as saturated and uh, shimmery as it is. Like it cleaned out pretty easily. And I know I only had the pen, the ink in a pen for like a, like two days or something. I, I, it could be different if it were like in there for like months and months, but. Um, yeah, it, it was, it was just fine. We did get a little, it started to try to bleed through on that felly set on the back of this paper, but otherwise, yeah, not bad. Oh, on this one as well. You can kind of see, but, um, yeah, not bad. So we're going to pull from the random bin. It's really late and I'm, I don't want to like disturb people who are sleeping. So I'm not going to juggle this up. I kind of shook it a little bit off camera. I, my eyes are closed, so I don't know what is in here. We went right yesterday, um, so I'm going to go left today and just quietly grab one. Um, hopefully the label is in the frame and you can see what it is. I cannot. So, um, yeah, so we'll see what we have. And we have Van Diemen's Hollywood Blonde Bombshell. Okay. 
this is going to be an interesting ink for work, but, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to fill. Okay, so I don't know if any of you follow Van Diemen's or are on their mailing list, but Van Diemen's actually released, like, a whole new line of inks last night. Um, they're, like, under the sea or underwater or something like that. And, um, there's only really one that I'm, like, that I desperately have to have. So, um, I'm going to wait... Just filling the pen. There you go. We got a super good fill. This is going to be a super shimmer sheeny, not sheeny, but super shimmer monster. Um, but anyway, they're like high sheening and a few shimmers and uh, stuff like that. And I'm going to um, wait until Vaness gets them in stock. And I'm probably going to buy samples and then just get a bottle of the one that I want. The one that I want is like the hot pink shimmer. Um, it's really pretty um but yeah you will see them on the channel eventually i'm just gonna wait to get them from uh from a somewhat local source instead of uh, buying them from australia um perhaps uh, yeah yeah like i said i don't oh, look at all the freaking shimmer in that holy cow and i didn't write down any facts so we're just gonna we're just gonna bumble through this Thirty inks, thirty days. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, 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 we're burping. Oh, that's the first time I've gotten a burp. But this feed is like really saturated, so let's go ahead and soak some of that up. Make sure that my stuff is in there correctly. Looks like it is. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna blot this up. It's uh, named Blonde Bombshell. It's um, one of two inks that they have based off um, sort of Marilyn Monroe stuff. Uh, the pen is a Twisby. Go clear. I have a broad nib. Oh, I'm not even in the frame. Sorry about that. Like it feels like I have like a paper cut or something. I have like a an owie on my thumb right there, or my pinky right there. Okay. Um, yeah, so this is one of two inks that Van Diemen's has based off of um, some Marilyn Monroe. I think this is like based off Marilyn Monroe, 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 Marilyn Monroe herself, and the other one is based off of um, the movie. Is it Gentle Gentlemen Prefer Blondes? I think. Um, That was not very good splattage, but uh, look at that shimmer. Just sparkle that, show that off in the light. This light is very bright. Um, okay. Oh wait, no, we gotta do a rating. I don't, should not have moved that. Okay. So let's go ahead and do our rating sample here.
I was gonna say, if I hadn't gotten the Birmingham inks, I might have gotten the uh, the Van Diemen's ones, but again, there really weren't en any that I liked enough. There's only like one that I like enough, maybe two, that I would consider, oh, excuse me, wanting a full bottle of. Um, Um, so I just don't want to get, I don't want to pay like 250 bucks. Well, it's like probably by the time you do the conversion and probably like 200 bucks or something like that on, um, ink that I just don't really want to own full things of, but I feel like as a person who has swatched like all of Van Diemen's collections, I do want to make sure that I swatch them on the video. So, um, yeah, so as soon as I can get them, I will, um, get samples and they will, uh, show up here. So, yeah, ink the pen, say Twisby, go, clear, and we have a broad nib on this one. I never did swap the nibs out. It's too late now. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, and I don't have any facts today. So, um, I'm just going to say, um, this ink is one of two inks inspired by... I think that's the name. I think. It's late. L O L. I actually do. I'll write L O L in my uh, journal and stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah. So, again, I apologize for the weird, crappy lighting. Uh, oh, look at how that looks with my hand covering the shadow. Here it is at an angle that is more legible, but here it is. Shimmer. It really is basically all shimmer. Kind of like, it's basically, the base is like a light yellow base, but it's basically the equivalent. It's like super shimmer, like this one. Oh, look, okay. So you wanna talk about shimmer transfer. I don't know if you can see this or if it's popping up, but this is the transfer from this ink over here to the page next to it. We'll have to like go through all this, but since I have it sitting here, there's a little bit here too. Um, it's not as noticeable on this one. Just making sure that's not still wet. It's not as noticeable here. I think the transfer that's here is mostly um, splatter. See, diamond shimmer tastic. There is some over here. Again, not as not as bad. I don't even know if you can see. Um, a little transfer here, but most of it's in these spots over here where it was like really laid on thick. There is some transfer from Nakar, Vinta Nakar. I'm not surprised because Vinta inks tend to be, well, this is Emerald of Shavor. There's not really any, I can't tell if there's transfer or not because we splatted on the, see my, my shimmer is, uh, my sheen, I mean, is like rust colored. I thought it was like maybe the card had oxidized, but yeah, that's bizarre. Okay. Um, there is some transfer with uh, shiny black 
Oh god, I love this ink. Can you see that in this light? Like how that looks? <sighs> um, we did splats on this page, so I can't tell if there's transfer from this one. Oh yeah, the Vinta ink's definitely, this entire page is nothing but glitter. I don't know if it's showing up. And Julio, also the same thing. The shimmer doesn't stay anywhere. Um, there is some from Winter Miracle, but I feel like this, my writing is mostly shimmer, I'm sorry, mostly sheen or the base color. The splats, it's that blue sparkle, so it's not as... Colsack Nebula Twinkle. Yep, lots of shimmer on this page. I don't know if you can see. Oh, look at that in the light. Okay. Um, Robert Oster Rose Gold or er, Rose Gilt Tint has some transfer. Um, the Tone Worn Limbs has some transfer. It seems like most of it is probably concentrated down in the splats because there's more shimmer there, but there is transfer even up here. Um, the Ferris wheel press, there is some, there is some transfer, but it's all down here where we have the spots where it's a little more concentrated. The text didn't really have a ton of shimmer to begin with, so, um, man, that gray is so pretty. Um, yeah. Um, this Van Diemen's Midnight series doesn't seem to have much transfer, so, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Um... Neither does this Robert Oster Morning Mist. And neither... Oh, there is some shimmer transfer on Nebula Space Kitty. It looks like it's like... Yeah, there is some shimmer. But it's concentrated again in the splats, so... I did not intend to go through all of these, but I figure since I'm here. There is some transfer on Colorverse Brain. This seemed to be like a very popular one with everybody. Um, this is probably, if I get a bottle, well, I mean, I already got a bottle of one of them that I liked, but if I were tempted by another bottle, this is the one that I would probably get. Um, there, But there is a little bit of transfer, but again, it's concentrated in these spots where there's lots of shimmer. Birmingham Vaudeville Twinkle has tons of transfer. Um, most of it's down here with the splats where there's a ton of it, but there is some up here where the text is. And, um, the Kyono Oto does have some transfer. But for as sparkly as the writing is, most of it's here where the splats are. Oh, we never did spots for Shimmertastic. I will have to fix that by the time we, um, review. Oh, this looks pretty. I don't know if you can see. It looks very pretty in the light here. There is some transfer from the text. It's not a whole lot. The Diamine Shimmer Tastics are pretty well behaved. Um, there is some transfer of the shimmer on this here too, but I really laid that down, so I'm not surprised. And this has been, well, there is some transfer here from this color verse, but this book has been open most of the time. So yeah, so we'll see. We'll probably get some transfer here but we'll see. Um, let's go ahead and do our final splats. Just trying to see if I can move some of them a little bit because I think they're more interesting when they are blown out. Um, yeah, And one thing I did want to show you is on this paper towel. I thought it was like maybe from the blue ink but it goes from like gold, like orange and green. Like that's weird. So yeah, so that's interesting like impromptu chromatography from this ink. Um, yeah. So awesome. So I'm going to look forward to using this one today. Not really a work appropriate ink, but I'm going to have to bust out my gel pen or something, I think. Um, although I'm doing training, so maybe not. Um, but yeah, very sparkly. 
And yeah, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. I can't believe this video is still almost 20 minutes. And um, yeah, so I will see you again tomorrow. Hopefully not an after dark, but we'll see what happens. Um, I have to do what the schedule allows and this last week of the month is gonna be nuts. And that's just the way it is these days. So <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Oh, I didn't get the card. I'll show you again. I'll show you tomorrow when we do our next ink. Anyway. Let me try to zoom. I'm trying to get it so the shadows aren't here. Um, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I will. Sorry if I'm mumbling and like really quiet. Hmm. Excuse me. I'm trying to respect my roommates. Oh, super kitty. Purple. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyway, I will talk to you again tomorrow and I hope that you're having a fantastic day 26 and I will see you soon. Take care. Love you all.